This video is about special context tree grammars. The first grammar we are looking at is uh, NAs followed by NBs, and the second one is the grammar for constructing all the brackets. Let's have a look at the first example. This is uh, um, the language we would like to generate. We have the same amount of A's followed by uh, the same amount of B's. And let's see how it works. We start in a derivation with the start symbol S, and then we have to choose the right-hand side by which we replace this S, and let's assume we replace the S by the first pos using the first possible production rule, namely replacing the S by A mm, S B. So we get this sentential form A S B. Now there's only one non-terminal on the right-hand side, so we replace uh, we have to replace this uh, non-terminal S using another production, and we choose the same production, replace it by A S B. So the the S is inside the sentential form on the right hand side. Here was replaced by another version of A S B, and we continue again. We have to replace the S on the right hand side, and we choose the rule replacing it by another instance of this. Um, rule, so we replace by ASB again. Then we have to apply one rule for, um, for the S again and construct more A's and B's. And the important part here using this construction is that we always construct the same amount of A's and B's using one production. There's only one production here, this one that replaces S by ASB. So for every A we construct, we construct uh, uh, the equal number of b's and we do it from the middle. So the s, if you look closely here on the uh, right hand side in the sentential form here, the s is always in the middle and from the middle we create the a's to the left and the b's to the right. And we continue and at some point we use the rule that replaces the s by the empty word epsilon and then we are done with the derivation there's no uh, non-terminal left on the right-hand side, and we got a, um, a word from the language, which has an equal number of A's followed by an equal number of B's. Our next language is the language of the brackets. And this here is a grammar for the, the brackets, and we'll have a look how it works. Again, we start with the start symbol S. We choose to replace the S by the second production that actually allows nesting of brackets. So we uh, replace the S by the open bracket, the S and the closed bracket. And then we have to replace this S again and we choose the second rule. The second rule that replaces S by two instances of S allows us to put two uh, um, brackets together uh, to concatenate to uh, uh, bracket expressions. So this one here is for the concatenation. And then we have to choose one of the two non-terminals on the uh, right-hand side that we would like to replace. And we choose the second production again, in this example, and do some nesting. So we replace this as here by this uh, expression here, um, open bracket as close bracket, and the rest stays the same. Again, we have to uh, choose a non-terminal, and this is the so-called left, uh, um, left derivation. So we always choose the um, non-terminal that's the leftmost non-terminal. Now we have to replace this one. We replace it by two uh, s, so we have two uh, ex uh, two possible brackets uh, bracket expression concatenated. Then we choose uh, the first. Uh, non-terminal from the left, again this S, choose a rule, and again this one, this S here, has to be replaced again, and at some point we uh, choose the rule that replaces the S by the empty word, so uh, removing this non-terminal, so we are stuck with uh, only this uh, instance of the S. Again we have to choose a rule. For this one we uh, put a parenthesis, so brackets, inside, then we choose to replace it by the empty word, epsilon. So there's only one S left. We have to find a rule for this one. 
we construct packets and then we replace by the empty word. So using these uh, two uh, kinds of rules, the first rule here is uh, just to allow to uh, create concatenations of bracket expressions so that you have um, the possibility to create expressions like this where you have brackets followed by another uh, pair of brackets for example. And the second type is for nesting the brackets. And at some point you have to um, stop with the derivation so we allow the s to be replaced by the empty word. If you look at other texts you might even find a shorter version of the same uh, grammar which combines this rule here and this rule.